I want to share a prison-related news story I just ran across that, oh my god, this is just crazy. I think we've done a couple of videos like this in the past where a YouTube channel has led to somebody getting locked up, whether it's because of pranks that they were doing that went wrong, there was the kid that was putting toothpaste in the Oreo cookies and playing pranks on homeless people, I think he went to prison, there was old, what was his name, Austin Jones? Wasn't that that kid's name, the twerker? There was the couple, the boyfriend and girlfriend who had like a vlogging channel, maybe a prank channel, I don't know what they were doing, and they thought it would be a good idea if the boyfriend held up a book and the girl tried to shoot at that book with a gun and use that book as a bulletproof vest. Killed dude, and she was going to prison. But today, another example of a YouTube channel sending somebody's ass to prison. Got a ramen noodle in the way of this microphone right there. People are dummies. People are dummies. If your YouTube channel's sending your ass to prison, use a dummy. And you know, I, I'll be honest with you, I'll, I'll share this real quick before we even get into this story. That's a little bit of a fear of mine. Like, anything can happen. You never know. I don't want to go to prison. And, and damn sure, not because of the YouTube channel. Oh, that would be... Oh, that would suck. This is a huge story coming to us from overseas. There's a bunch of different news stories on this particular story, and I want to share this headline with you in particular that reads, Mafia Fugitive Caught After Posting Cooking Show on YouTube. You've got to be kidding me. I wonder if he was doing prison cooking videos. And even if he wasn't, per se, maybe the stuff that he was cooking, he will be able to cook when he gets to prison in Italy, because I'm quite sure that those prisons over there in Italy, you could probably get your hands on some good things. I don't, I don't really know anything about prisons in Italy, so. Isn't that where Amanda Knox was at? Folks, let me go ahead and introduce you to this guy right here. 53-year-old Mark Fruin Claude Briart. I sounded that out exactly the way that it looks and I may have mispronounced that. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, Joe, what the hell is this? This is like, you know, the profile picture from a troll account. Well, you're absolutely correct in thinking that. There's not any pictures of this dude that I was able to find on the internet. And in fact, the only picture that I was able to find of this guy were a few screen grabs from maybe this dude's cooking videos that were on YouTube. This one right here, this one right here, and then the creme de la creme, this picture of dude getting arrested by Interpol. When Interpol's involved, your ass is about to be swimming in some prison time. Get it? Pool? Swimming? Prison time? I don't know. That probably didn't work the way that I pictured it in my brain. This picture also of his backside. I don't know why they're being so secretive with this guy's identity. It's what it kind of seems like. Now, again, let's go back to the headline of this that said Mafia Fugitive. A fugitive? Why in the beep would a fugitive be out there posting cooking videos on YouTube? Well, if you think that that's a pretty stupid idea, I think that. Let me share this with you as well. This dude did take proper precautions. Of course he's not as dumb as that headline sounds. He was not showing his face in any of the cooking videos that he was doing. And with that, he probably assumed that he was protected. However, the way that they found out that it was this dude in particular, this mafia fugitive, was because of his tattoos. So I don't know what's more crazy to think about. The fact that, you know, the tattoos got this dude apprehended and that's how they were able to probably trace his IP address. They legitimately swatted this dude. Or the fact that, yo, the feds be watching for real. So keep doing that gangster shit up on YouTube and don't think ain't nobody watching except for your likes and dislikes and view count. Well, I mean, that means a lot of people are watching. Also including, especially, and not excluding, probably in all likelihood, some form of law enforcement. Yo, dude got swatted for real for reals by, not the feds, but Interpol. That's crazy. Now, if you're wondering who is this Mark Fruin, Claude Bryart, 53 years old, culinary specialist, creating videos on YouTube, I wish I could show you more, especially anything in relation to the videos that this dude was creating, but it appears 
from what I've read and from the research that I've tried to do on this video and the story that the YouTube channel has been terminated. I don't even know why it would be. But again, from what I've read, it has been. How crazy would that have been to like try to recreate some of the meals that this dude was creating? You know, this wanted mafia fugitive. But supposedly the channel does not exist. It's been deleted. But going further, you probably want to know why this guy is a wanted fugitive. The story would say that this dude was an alleged member of the Drangita crime gang, and he was arrested in the Dominican Republic last Wednesday and has also now been extradited back to Italy. He carefully hid his face. He failed to disguise his body tattoos. Briart had reportedly been leading a quiet life in the town of Boca Chia, police said in a statement. He had been on the run since 2014 when he was wanted by the police for allegedly trafficking cocaine into the Netherlands on behalf of some clan, which is some part of the Drangita Mafia. I cannot pronounce that word right there. Not even going to try. Actually, why not? Let's give it a run for the money. Kekolia, maybe? Kekolia clan? I might have nailed that, actually. Joe with the pronunciations. Uh, the Drangita is considered one of the world's most powerful organized crime groups because it controls most of the cocaine entering Europe. That's crazy to note right there. The alleged clan boss, Luguini Mancuso, 66 years old, is known as the uncle. Other members go by nicknames such as the wolf, fatty, and Blondie. I wonder if they're going to be calling these guys that in prison. But Joe, are they locked up too? Well, they are all now facing justice in the biggest mafia trial Italy has seen in decades. There are 355 alleged mobsters and corrupt officials who have been charged after a long investigation into the Drangita group. I wonder if they've got Rico over there in Italy. Probably not, but they've probably got life just the same. During a pre-trial hearing, it took more than three hours to read the names of the defendants. Man, that shit sounds like something off of The Sopranos right there, or off of Goodfellas. You remember when Henry Hill told on everybody? Mm, Freaking Henry. There's also more than 900 witnesses expected to give testimony in the trial, which opened in January and will last two years. Ho. Oh. That's a big ass trial with a hell of a lot of testimony right there. Folks, I really want to know what you guys think about all of this. Like if you're a wanted fugitive, is it a good idea to be posting videos on the internet? And even if you're hiding your face, you better watch out for those pesky tattoos because Scooby-Doo and company, they're going to get you. Isn't that what they would say at the end of Scooby-Doo? And that pesky rascal of a dog and that <laughs> Daphne. I always thought that, you know, she was quite promiscuous when I was growing up. A young boy with a vivid, wild imagination. That's got nothing to do with this story. I don't know why I just shared that with you. Folks, again, I really want to know what you guys think of this story. Like, he's charged with trafficking cocaine. Okay, so what? He took a couple of plants across the imaginary line. A little scene from Blow right there. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about this. And as always, until next time, enjoy life the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace!